Yeah, it's a competitive uh, midfield. We we all want to play every game, uh, fighting against each other. But it's uh, a good competitiveness. Uh, everyone wants to start. We know that, and and the day it's up to the manager. You just need to try your best in training and see what the manager thinks. Billy, all all being well, you'll you'll be going up against Tony Cruz uh, on Saturday night. One of the greatest central midfielders of his generation. Um, what do you think of about him as a player and would you relish the opportunity to go up against him? I think Tony Cruz is unbelievable. Uh, you've seen what he's done in the game and just to watch him on TV, uh, he's unbelievable. The way he moves the ball and passes it, the simple things he makes 100% perfect. Uh, and if I do get the opportunity, uh, I'll be excited. Of course, one of the greatest midfielders of the game and to test myself and compete uh, would be a great opportunity. The, the atmosphere is going to be electric. You, you've obviously played in amazing atmospheres, but is that something that you're already thinking about, what it's going to be like to be out there, or do you just have to kind of time your, time your run on that, in that regard because you could peak too early? I think we all know it's going to be a, a very amazing night. Um, the atmosphere is going to be incredible. We know that from Germany fans and Scotland fans. Uh, and I think it's for us to get, compose ourselves straight away uh, try and get used to the atmosphere as soon as possible. I know in our team we've got a lot of players who have played in massive atmospheres, um, but the one against Germany is definitely going to be different. And, and just lastly, for me, um, it's last season was a very good season for you personally. The previous couple of seasons tested your your kind of resilience. Do you think you're kind of mentally a stronger player, a more uh, robust player, because of the frustrations that you went through? Yeah, I mean, this season has been really good. Played majority of games and I've been enjoying my football. It's probably my first season where I've played back to back in so many games and felt good about myself. Uh, and like I said, the, the other seasons, it was more learning and staying strong and waiting for the opportunity. Uh, and now this season, I tried to grab my opportunity and didn't want to give anyone it back. So for me, it was to just keep pushing myself and test myself and try and get the best out of myself every day. Billy, we've spoken about your, your previous Euros campaign. Just how much do you think you've grown as a player and a person since the last Euros? Um, matured a lot. Um, young young kid at the Euros first time now, I would say. Not a young kid anymore. Uh, grew up a little bit. Uh, but no, I mean, it's all part of the journey. I've really enjoyed it. Of course, looking back... Um, the game for England, my first competitive game, really good game for us all. Um, and then that's just, that's the test you want as a football player. So to be at this stage now, we know the group's tough, but uh, we want to test ourselves and see how far we can go. The fact that it was maybe cut short because of COVID, does that make you more determined now, you know, to, to make sure every minute counts and really you know, make your mark and your impact in this campaign? Yeah, definitely. I mean, hopefully no COVID interruptions are that now. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're here. Uh, I'm looking, um, looking forward to it, excited, and just can't wait till, till it starts, really. The pictures coming out of Scotland today, airports, ferry terminals, everywhere. I think there was even like kilt shortages of, <laughs> from Scottish fans. It just shows you how much the fans really, this really means to them, doesn't it? What does that do to you guys as a player to see those hundreds of thousands of Scots coming over? Yeah, it gives us a real buzz. We know how... Scotland's so passionate, uh, especially about football. We, we're all we're all rooting for the country, and everyone wants us to do well. And for us, we want to give our, everything we've got to back to our fans and all the Scottish fans coming over. We know there'll be loads at home as well watching. So it's a real buzz around the country. Uh, and I think you can tell that straight away. Everything you see from the first day we got here with McGinn and all the way back home with everything. So. Uh, we're all excited and we want to give our best impressions to the fans as possible. Hi, Billy. Um, Steve Clark has said that he's still mulling over his starting lineup. Can you try and put into words what it would mean for you to walk out there and to play in the opening game of this tournament? Yeah, it's up to the manager who decides he's starting 11. Uh, of course, I want to start the game and play every game possible. Um, to walk out, if I did get the opportunity, Amazing uh, feeling, opening game of a Euros, uh, stuff of dreams really. So, yeah, excited, uh, and we'll see what happens. 
It does look like you guys are all enjoying yourself. Um, we were watching you yesterday at training and you were playing a game that you seemed to find hilarious. Can you um, explain to me what the game was and the point of it? You game? Were, like, I, yeah, so you were all like, like kind of running into like wee groups. Oh, uh, warm up. In, in the warm-up. Um, yeah, I think that's just Shane's warm-ups. Uh, groups, of six, groups of seven and if you're the last one in the group, uh, you have to do press-ups or punishment. So... It's, I mean, carry on a bit in the warm up, but we know when we go to the pitch up and go, uh, we take it serious. Uh, we've got a good uh, bunch of boys that know when to have a little bit of fun and take it serious. But yeah, it was a little bit of fun yesterday for the cameras, I guess. Um, the last Euros, Andy Robertson organised a, a goodie bag for you all uh, to kind of make you feel more at home. Has he done anything like that this time around? or? Uh, has there been any, any sort of like welcoming to make you guys feel at home? Um, when before we met up, we all uh, met for a golf day. Uh, that was organised, so I think Rob had done all that majority in McGinn. So that was a really nice day, and then we were straight into camp. I had two friendlies, and now we're here. Uh, I think we're all settled anyway. We've all been around each other long enough, uh, and the captain and the staff and John McGinn do very well in that and keeping us all together. Billy, belated congratulations on your, your birthday yesterday. Did the players organise anything for you after training? I had birthday cake uh, and they sung happy birthday to me at dinner, so that was really nice. Uh, that made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Um, we've touched on the midfield and how strong that's going to be. It's important to have Scott McTominay back in, in midfield fit again and the aforementioned John McGinn. They're going to be key players if you're going to get anything out of this game against Germany. Yeah, we know Scott has been a key player for us with his scoring goals and it's good to have him back in training. Of course, uh, we're struggling a little bit with his ankle, but all good now, I think. Um, and hopefully, that's what I mean, we need everyone to step up. We know it's going to be a big game for Germany and they're a really good team. We all know that. they uh, got good players. So, for us watching them, we need to make sure defensively we're right uh, and we've been working on ourselves this week because we're, we're good players also and we want to Make sure we show the best impression that night. Okay. Oh, sorry, Shaban. Oh, um, I think it uh, darts. It's only been a recent thing we've had it in the hotel when we have downtime. Um, there's a few good players, but Sandra Clark's really good. Uh, William Kelly, Angus Glenn, short goalkeepers, but I think <laughs> them, and then at golf, um, probably Andy Robertson, Greg Taylor's pretty good, John, they all, they all love golf, so, they do, so there's a real competitive uh, nature in their squad, and that goes into everything, by the way, not just uh, tarts, football and golf. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, last, just, just a quirky one. I don't know if my memory is playing tricks on me, but after the Indian game three years ago, did your boots go missing? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> did you ever find your boots? No, never. Never found my boots. Um, got told I had COVID that morning and I had to go straight home uh, to isolate. And um, yeah, lost my boots, my shin guards, everything out my room. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Cheers.